Now let's see how does the accounting treatment works. for share application. Okay. Now I told you earlier that you know whenever the company issues share capital it may call it the money in stages. The first stage we discussed was the share application money. Please note that ultimately, ultimately, let me just write this for you so that it becomes easier. All money towards share capital has to go to the share capital account. So you might get it in stages, you might account for it in different accounts, but ultimately once the process is completed, everything has to be transferred to the share capital account. Keeping this in mind, let's now take up the accounting treatment for share application. Okay. Now what happens is that let's say the company applied for The company issued 100,000 shares of rupees 10 each, where the amount was to be received was 1 million okay. share application money was let's say rupees sorry. Five. So let's say stage one, you issued 100,000 shares, you got subscription for subscription for 100,000 only. So as this happen, you will get the money at the rate of rupees five on these 100,000 shares. So what's the total money that you receive? You receive 5 into 100,000 or 500,000 rupees. So you will get the check of rupees 500,000. So where do you deposit the check? Bank. So you debit the bank account. Why? Because bank is an asset account and as the asset is increased, it has to be debited too. Now on what account have you received this money? There are two ways to do it. You can either put it in share capital account, but as I said, for the sake of convenience and to track things, we put it in share application account. I'm not putting in those formats of journal and all because I think you must be very familiar with them by now. Being share application received on 100,000 shares at the rate of rupees 5 per share. Now what if instead of 100,000 you got only 80,000? So on 80,000 shares you got only 5 rupees a share which is 400,000. So in this case what you will do is that instead of 500,000 you put in 400,000 here, you put in 400,000 here and this is okay, here you put in 80,000. Okay, so if the subscription is for less number of shares, you just work it out like this. Now the third situation could be you got actually money for 120,000 shares at the rate of rupees 5 which is 600,000 shares 600,000 rupees 
So in this case, what will happen? You got bank account debit to share application. So the first entry will be basically the same, right? The only difference will be you will get the number as 600,000. But we know that out of the 600,000, 100,000, which is 5 into 20,000, which is the excess applications, has to be paid back. You can't keep it. So when you pay back, what will be the entry? The receipt was credited to share application account. So the payment would mean reduction in this account. This account should be ideally 5 lakh. So you debit share application account. by 100,000 and when you repay the amount your bank balance will be reduced which is an asset account so to bank account 100,000 okay so the net entry which will be there is again going to be the original entry of this rupees 5 lakh because this excess plus this was minus so if you see on a net basis you got 5 lakh in the bank this was credit and this was debit so you get a credit of 5 lakh here also now once this share application account has been closed all the entries have been done then you transfer share application to share capital so this credit of 5 lakh which you had is reversed so you write share application debit why because ultimately as I told you this money has to go to the share capital account so you debit it by 5 lakh and credit share capital account this is once the process is completed till the time these refunds and everything are there you don't transfer it normally and the narration is being amount transferred to share capital account okay so these are the money which these are the entries actually which you pass in respect share application account